again, welcome to another meal prep. Now, this one's going to be different from any other meal preps you have seen. I don't even think it's 10 minutes long, but everything I made today, I have already cooked for you in past videos, and all the recipes are on my website. Those recipes will be linked below in my description box, and then on the recipe page are links to the videos if you so desire, but these are just very straightforward recipes, so we're just going to just kind of zoom through them today, but I'm going to tell you what, it's a delicious week ahead. I cannot wait to stay on plan this week. That is that is my plan, is to stay on plan. Whatever that plan is, <laughs> had pinpointed it. But anyway, let's turn around and get started on this week's meal prep. Hope you enjoy. For our breakfast bowls, we're going to start by cooking down 8 ounces of sausage. This is Nisa's, my favorite. You can use your favorite. Then our frozen hash browns. I'm actually using 6 cups because I, I want a pretty good size portion. You um, can weigh and measure how much ever you want. The eggs are 2 per bowl, and I'm just adding a little half and half, and I'm cooking them soft because they'll cook farther in the microwave. And then finally, the gravy is just a pack of Pioneer Country Gravy in the pouch. I just want you to see just how quickly and easy that it comes together. And it's super tasty. <laughs> now all we have to do is put them together. I'm going to divide the hash browns evenly between each bowl. Same goes with the eggs. Like I said, that'll work out to two eggs per bowl. And then the same goes for the sausage, which will work out to about two ounces per bowl. It's not two ounces cooked. And then the gravy, if I use the whole thing, it's about a half a cup per bowl. And then here they are finished. Now for lunch, we are making um, cashew chicken. You need to have your crock pot on high heat, shake your chicken cubes in flour, and let them sit in there while you make the marinade. Here we start with a half a cup of low sodium soy sauce and we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil, fourth cup honey, two and a half tablespoons of brown sugar and a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger and then that was a fourth cup of rice vinegar and some salt and pepper. I think I edited too short. <laughs> anyway, we're going to whisk that up really, really well. Pour it over the chicken. We're going to let it cook covered on high for three two and a half hours. I'm sorry. Then when two and a half hours is up, we're going to add the cashews. Sometimes if it's thin, I will leave the lid off. This time you can see the sauce thickened up. So I added the cashews. It's three quarters of a cup. And I put the lid back on and let it cook the last half hour. I just wanted my cashews cooked a little bit. I didn't want them completely um, crunchy in their raw state. So two and a half. Then add the cashews for another half hour. Now all we got to do is put them together. So my tr trusty little rice maker, even that out. This is a 12-ounce bag of broccoli. We're going to even that out. I just steamed it in the microwave. And my footage where I was portioning out my meat, I forgot to turn the camera on. Next is our pumpkin pie pudding. This is a Daniel Hollick recipe from way back on Connect. Start with a can of pumpkin. Add a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. A whole pouch of sugar-free vanilla pudding mix. And one quarter cup of skim milk. And just stir it until it is really, really well mixed. Then all we have to do is divide it into four containers. Now, I'm gilding the lily a little bit. Ah, huh, that was a pun unintended. I'm going to use Lily's pumpkin spice chocolate, not chocolate, <laughs> chips. Um, so, there they are, all finished and ready to go. We'll just keep them in the fridge. Okay, here's what we did today. Sausage and gravy breakfast bowls. Cashew chicken in the crock pot over rice and fresh steamed broccoli. Then our little sweet snacks. This is just the Jello chocolate fudge instant pudding, my favorite. And then of course our pumpkin pie pudding. So that's what we have this week. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Maybe got a little bit of inspiration. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.